Dr. Jeffrey Riagal, and this week's presentation is on natural breast augmentation. Now, there are several ways to do breast enhancement or breast augmentation, and the classic way, of course, has been to transplant a foreign body, uh, either fluid or silicone, uh, inside a wrap into the breast to create breast augmentation. And this can create a very nice and very natural look in many women and has the ability to create um, a, a large enhancement if desired. But there is a new technique available nowadays and it's really for women who'd like to have natural enhancement to the breasts where no foreign body is transplanted and what's transplanted are their own natural cells. The way that we do this procedure is we are doing a liposuction procedure using a special device called Tickle Lipo and we're transplanting the fat from the tickle lipo into the breast in specific areas to have a lifting and enhancing effect on the breast. So this is how the process works. Uh, one comes in for a regular liposuction procedure done awake under tumescent liposuction, which means using numbing fluid. An area is selected such as the abdomen or the sides or the hips, uh, the inner thighs, outer thighs, really pretty much any area that one would normally have liposuction and the fat is taken from that area. So that area gets a reduction in fat. At the same time, the fat is then transplanted into the breast area uh, using special cannulas. So the process works as follows. We've removed the fat under sterile technique and then we let the fat settle out for a while. And once the fat has settled out, so it's separated from the other things that we've removed, uh, which would be small amounts of blood product and also uh, the fluid that we put in for numbing, we then take the fat and using special instruments, we place the fat into the breast tissue. So we'll, we'll actually use a little needle to create little holes so that where there's no scarring. And using a cannula that looks something like this, a small cannula, the cannula is then inserted through those holes in multiple, multiple locations. So we'll actually do it sort of like a spiral all the way around the breast, every half inch to inch doing an insertion and gradually placing the fat into the breast tissue in a very nice enhancing way. We place the fat very slowly, actually one cc at a time. This is a one cc syringe and the fat is transplanted so slowly that it has a chance to uh, layer up in very fine droplets. This allows the body to create blood vessels and blood supply into the fat so that it survives. In the old days, this procedure was tried uh, doing it very quickly, taking the fat and transplanting it in large amounts into the breast tissue. But the problem was that large areas of fat just did not survive in the breast. But it does turn out that the survival rate is quite good when the fat is layered in at a very gradual pace and using a small cannula like this and doing a cc at a time throughout the breast in order to transplant maybe 150 cc to 200 cc's of fat, the fat then is, has a much better take rate and is able to survive. So that's how the procedure is done. There are some techniques also involving stem cells uh, and this is an option nowadays. It's being done uh, in Japan primarily in which breast enhancement is done. Now how much how much can one improve? It's usually about a cup size when breast uh, enhancement is done this way. The nice thing about it, as I say, is it's all one's own tissue, there's no foreign body, and it's all very natural. And for people who want very natural, this is really something to look at in terms of a way to go. It's really a way of the future, too. Well, thank you very much for listening today. And if you'd like further information, you can feel free to give us a call at 925-275-9333. Thank you very much.